All right, for this video, we're getting ready to do another composition for beginning a recorder. And since this is our second composition, we're going to give ourselves a couple of new tools to work with. We're going to be using not just quarter notes like we did last time, but both quarter notes and half notes. And instead of just using the pitches G, A, or B, we now have five choices, G, A, B, E, and D. For those of you who have been with me for a while, you might notice that this is a five note scale or a five note grouping and a five note scale is called a pentatonic, pentatonic scale. Pentatonic of course means five tones, five tone. Five tone scales and pentatonic scales. So we have five tones that we're going to use and since we are worried or since we are trying to make a piece that makes you practice the five tones that you're going to be playing on a recorder, I'd like to see all five tones being used. So here's the very first thing we're going to do. Let's make sure that we take our eight measures that we're going to use for our composition. We're going to use eight total measures. And let's go ahead and pause the video if you need to. But we're going to put the treble clef on both, so on both staves. Your key signature, of course the F sharp, on both staves. Only the top stave needs the time signature. And then let's bar it off and end the bar there. Do the halves, do the quarters until you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you need to take care of that right now, I'll wait for you. All right, so I'm assuming that if you've already done that, you've unpaused this. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these two measures and make up something for these two measures first. So let's see, for my composition, I'm going to go, let's try G, A, B. G, E, D. All right. Now notice, since we're in 4-4, four, four, I have to have one, two, three, four beats worth of material. Now I could have four quarter notes. A half note is worth two beats, so if you notice here I have one, two, since this is worth two, three, four worth of time. You could use a half note rest would be worth two beats. Any of the half notes would also be worth two beats. Your quarter notes, of course, would be worth one beat. Quarter notes, one beat. And of course, your quarter rest also worth one beat. Only one beat. As long, it doesn't really matter which combination that you decide that you're going to use, but it must equal four since we are in 4-4. Four, four. There are other time signatures, but for right now, we are worried about four beats only. So, if you need to, pause the video and make yourself two measures. Just make sure it adds up to four beats. And if you have any questions, by all means, ask me about it. Excellent. So, if you've got these two measures taken care of, what we're going to do is we're going to, to keep our, um, our composition making sense, we're going to create an eight measure period. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a period is kind of like, well, you know, if you're writing, you would write a paragraph, and all of your ideas would come to a central idea. And by making things a phrase, and two, a four bar phrase, and two four bar phrase making a period, it helps your ideas make sense. For the purposes of our composition, we're gonna come over here and get some green. We're either going to use one of two forms. We're gonna use either an A, B, a C form or we could use an A B A B form and what this means is we have two measures of one type something completely different for two measures coming back to the original and then something completely different for the last four or we could have two measures of something something completely different that going back to the same two measures and then returning to that same difference where these two are the same and these two are the same 
But if you notice, we're going to repeat some material here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to repeat this A section. And since we've already made an A section, we're going to call this little section A. Since we've already made a section A, we're going to repeat that exact A section exactly the way you wrote it the first time. So if I wrote G, A, G, B, thank you, B, G, E, D, I'm going to write exactly the same thing this time around. If you notice these two measures and the first two measures we made, are exactly the same. And if your penmanship is anything like mine, your um, stems might be a little bit wobbly, but just the number one thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that the heads of your notes show that this is an E, for instance, and this is a G. The line is going right down the middle. It's no doubt that this is an A because it's right between those two lines. It's very important. That's the important part. So if you notice, these two are exactly the same. So let's take a different color. We'll take um, we'll take our dark green here again. And make it a little darker, just a little darker there. And let's make a completely different section. We're going to call this section B. And these two things are going to contrast, not exactly the same. Bum 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 bum. that looks like an E, make sure that looks like a D. Here's G again. Here's B, making sure that it's going right to the center of that line. Here's G again. Here's an A. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so this is two Bs. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yep, all, of, all the notes and the measures, right? So here's A. And here's my section B. So if you need to pause it and make your own section B, this is a great time to do that. And let's go on. And let's say if we were going to make an A, B, A, B section, we would probably do something like this. We would do exactly the same thing we have for B. Here's E, E, D, G. B, G, A. Now that would be exactly the same. But if you were to play this, if you were to take just a second and play this, and let me pause this and make sure I get a little something so we can play this and you can hear it. All right, I went and got my little iPad and I have a little piano here, and forgive me for not having a recorder, but I am working from home, so here we are. This is what the melody sounds like. Here's our A section. Here's our B section. So if we keep going, Now that sounds nice, but the only problem about it is it doesn't really sound like it's done, does it? So here's what we're going to do. Usually what's going to give us the, giving us so much trouble is this final note. It just feels like bum 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 bum. It sounds like you're ending the sentence with a comma instead of a period. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to change just this final note. Bum 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 bum. Or how about let's change the last two notes. So we're going to bring it from this top note, this kind of climax note where it hits the highest note that we have, and we're going to walk it back down to the key that we're in, which of course is G. We're going to walk it down to the tonic note. In other words, if you have a note named G and you're in the key of G, that's your tonic note, the note that defines your key. And let's listen to how that sounds for just a second. So here's from the very beginning of the piece. Oh, my mistake. Second line. Second 
So do you notice how that part sounds like it's coming to a close? It seems like it works out much better for us. Now, you can't really call this C because this section right here and this section right here are exactly the same. And as a matter of fact, it's all the same all the way up to the very first note. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this B prime. And I apologize, this should be actually a lowercase b, and so should that. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring it back to lowercase b. Because we're talking about small form here. We're only talking about eight measures. So that's a lowercase b. And here's a lowercase b prime. It looks like, looks like a little hash mark out of sight. Just to let you know that even though it's mostly B, you changed a tiny, tiny bit of it to let you know that it's slightly different. So, what we have here is this A, B, A, B prime. So if that's the phrase, that, if that's the type of form you'd like, this is a great way to do that. So, if that's what you want to do, let's pause that and you're welcome to go. If not, let's take a listen to maybe what an A, B, A, C would sound like. So let's get rid of these guys right here. We're gonna get rid of this guy. And what would happen if we made something completely different? Completely different than what we had previously. See right here we have an A section, and here we have a B section, which is different than the A. And we come back to the A, and in order to call, to call this C, this section has to be really different than any of these two. So we have bum 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 How about bum 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 for those of you who play drums, you might notice that even though my pitches are very, very different, my rhythm has stayed the same. Notice I'm keeping the quarter, 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 half, quarter, 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 half, quarter, 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 half, and here we have, of course, quarter, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, half. So even the times where the notes have changed completely and very drastically, we are keeping something that helps it stay a little bit similar. So this would be a nice example of an A, B, A, C. The two, four bars would be a phrase, and of course eight bars would be a period. Oops, that looks like a B. Let's try that again. All right, so of course, Four measures. Is it a phrase? And eight measures. Period. All right. So then, what you need to do is you need to title your song, which my song is Happiness. Make sure we capitalize it. Happy P P. Happiness. Bye. And of course, my name is Sean Keach, capitalizing the first letter of each. Once you're done with the handwritten copy, I'll take a look at it, and you will be ready to move on to doing it with a computer. All right, so excellent work on your second project. Best of luck.